Bobby, before we do this intro, can I ask you a question? Yeah, bro, go ahead. When are you going to marry that woman of yours, Selena? Hollywood, I told you, man, I'm not going to marry that woman. Can we just do the intro to this video? Okay, bro, let's do it. Everybody. Welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, I want to talk about something pretty interesting. Um, you know, if you guys haven't seen it yet, you need to go watch X, uh, 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 Axis Football, um, the stream done on Ryan Moody's channel today. Um, Axis Football did a, Danny, uh, Danny did a live stream, guys, on how he programs the game. He gave, it, he gave us an insight on what it takes to program the game to make the gameplay realistic, what the limitations are, and things like that. So when I seen that stream today, man, it, it broadened and expanded my vision on what it takes to program Madden and why we want Madden to get to uh, why their AI, about AI uh, intelligence and, and proving Madden and get the gameplay together. And guys, I got a further insight about that aspect. Now I want to say shout out to Danny. Uh, uh, I don't remember his last name. Guggen, Grugen. Um, apologize for that. But yeah, Danny did an excellent job on explaining how he programs the game and what his team is doing. And what I want to talk about in this video, guys, why Axis Football has an advantage and why Madden has a disadvantage. Why does EA have a disadvantage than Axis Football? And I want to start this out by saying, guys, if I was Rex and if I was Clint, I would have been watching that video today. I don't know if they were watching it, but um, um, I'm knowing, you know, Rex's personality. And when he goes in somebody's stream, he lets, his, he lets himself be known. So I'm going to guess they haven't seen the stream. And you might say, Hollywood, why would, e why would EA, Rex, and Clint and their dev team be watching the stream? They're way, ahead, they're way ahead of Axis Football. And let me tell you why, guys. Let me tell you why they should have been watching this stream today. And I knew they knew, they had to know about it. It was all over, all over Twitter. Now, if they haven't and they've been locked in today and they in a programming room and they've just been locked in, they locked themselves in a the room programming Madden 19, that's fine. Shout out to them if that's what they're doing. Maybe they, don't, they didn't know about the stream. But if they did, they should have watched it. Let me tell you why. Again, you might say, Hollywood, they're way above. Madden is way leaps and bounds and years above Axis Football. Why would they watch Danny programming something they already know? Let me tell you why. Because if it was me, I would have been thinking, sure, we might be programming the same. He's not going to show us anything new on programming the game. But you never know what he might do. It might spring a new idea in your mind. You might say, okay, we know how we, we do exactly what Danny's doing. We might even do it better than what Danny's doing. But it's just that one thing a person might show you might click something new, some kind of new program. You might say, oh, wait a minute. Let me check this out. If we do this, this, and this, oh, we can get better uh, AI, uh, uh, better AI uh, intelligence. See, they might not, they might know everything that Danny knows and they might not be able to learn from Danny, but you never know what he might do this one adjustment or this one figure or change this one number that might open a whole door up. Because obviously, Clint and Rex and them are looking for new ideas to program the game. They're looking for new, uh, the way the ball, the way the receivers catch the ball. I mean, anything that, you never know what they could have seen, guys. They could have sparked an idea. If I was them, I would have had my whole dev team watching that stream. Because you never know. You can't be arrogant or think you high enough or to the point where you don't have to look at somebody below you. Never get that way, guys. Never get that way. There's a, there's a lot of big companies that used to be big companies 20 years ago. They're not even in business anymore because they're at a point they think they can't learn from somebody else. Even if you think you're the best, you can always learn something new. You can always learn something new. So if I was if I was Clint and, 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 and Rex, I would have had my whole dev team watching that stream because you never know what would have sparked. Okay, guys? Now, 
let me say something else. Um, I would have had him watching, but if Axis, to me, if Axis Football had the money, you saw Danny was showing you the engine that he works with. Man, if he had, even if he had the, the Infinity engine, he, didn't, not, he wouldn't even have the Frostbite engine. He would program a better game than Madden. Let me tell you why. You might say, Hollywood, you tripping. How is he going to program a better game than Madden? Let me tell you why. Because every and people say, Axis football is growing so fast, man. They were a little pixie, little pixie game on mobile. But now they're going to console. They're growing. They're doing all this kind of stuff. You know why they're growing fast? Because they have code that they put code in. They're creating their own code from, from the bottom, the ground roots. The, the, the ground floor. Madden, if you look at Madden, they still have PS2 movements, PS2 player reactions on the field that we saw in PS2. Same animations in PS2. Now, the reason why I say that because Madden has to dig all that old code out. They have to dig that code out before they can put in a new code. And that's why Madden, the growth of Madden is going so slow. Um, people say, oh, man, it's just a roster update. Man, this place is exactly the same. Man, it looks just like Madden 17. You know why? Because they still have a lot of old code that they have to yank out before they can put new code in. Axis football don't have to worry about no old code. They can start fresh and, and, and new beginning, and they can just put in that code. Make them, they can just put in that code, adjust the code, change the code, right? They don't have to dig they got old, old stuff back was 1980, 82, 85, right? Back in the 1980s. They don't have to dig all that old code out, guys, to put new codes in. And that's what Madden have to do. That's what they have to do. And you, you probably say, well, everybody always say Madden need to start from scratch. Guys, they can't start from scratch. Basically, what Axis Football is doing is starting from scratch. And we've seen, if you, like I said, guys, if you haven't seen that video what Danny was doing on his live stream today for Axis Football, go watch it. You will see the intricate and how difficult it is to program a football game. It is difficult, guys. I mean, we've always assumed that. We always assume it wasn't easy. But, man, when he showed us the intricate of what it takes to get guys to move a certain way or react to certain situations, it takes a lot. So you, can you imagine EA, uh, 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 Rex and his team, before they, they got to go in and dig all the other stuff out and they have to dig it out without ruining the game. They have to dig all that old code out without ruining the stuff they created. So that's why, to me, I think it's taken Madden a long time to get because it's not Rex's fault, it's not Clint's fault. They weren't there back in the day in the PS2 days. But they're trying to fix this game, guys. And I believe they're trying to fix this game, but it's the challenge they have. They have to dig all this old stuff out to put the new stuff in. They change the gameplay, the AI intelligent. So they have to leave some of that stuff in because you guys might say, man, we see the same stuff every year. I've said it. We see the same AI mistakes every year. The same AI mistakes every year. Man, the AI is not getting better. The AI is the same as last year because they can't pull it all out, guys. They can gradually maybe disguise a little bit of it, but it comes out eventually. And we see it. It comes out. The crazy stuff that it's doing. Now, guess what? Now they got to switch to Frostbite, a very new engine. So now they got to program a little bit at a time, make some changes, make some adjustments to the Frostbite engine that will give them a better way to make the game work better and then look better. But guess what? They got to go in and take that code and make those adjustments like Danny was doing with Axis Football. They got to go in and make those adjustments to the Frostbite engine. The engines aren't the same, so I have to put in and make adjustments to the code. Guys, I can, I, I can just imagine how long that would take to do. And they only got, they don't. you guys think they have 12 months to, to put out a new game? No, they probably might have seven if they're lucky. Seven months to put out a new game. So they're working on Madden 19. Can you imagine the things they have to do to adjust all the code to switch over to a new engine, Frostbite? The engine they've been running for a lot of years. Now they got to switch it over and they got to readjust all that code, guys. So that's the disadvantage that EA has. And that's why I say Axis Football have the advantage. They don't have to go in and worry about ripping code out and not messing up the code they put in. And, and, and so they can put out patches to fix. When Madden put out a patch, they have to dig in and find that old code that's screwing it up. 
make some adjustments on it. They might can't rip it out, but they try to make some adjustments on it, and that's why the game doesn't play exactly the same after we get a patch. The game plays different when we get a patch because when they go in and they, they, they change that code, guys, so the game's not going to play exactly the same. They have to go in and fix the old code that's screwing up, which is uh, most of the time I think it's the PS2 days or the PS3 days. Get that old code out, guys. And then going in and fix it, they got to find the code. They got to find out where it's coming from. And we always say, how come the updates and the patches take so long? Because, guys, it's a lot of work. Danny and Axis Football, they don't have to worry about that. Their code is what their code is. They don't have to go in and dig old code. They just keep adding and adjusting and improving the code. That's what I realized today, guys, why Madden is handicapped right now. And again, it's not Rex's fault. It's not Clint's fault. It's not the team fault. It's just that they got to go in and get all that old crap out of the game. Okay? And that's what I mean by Madden is handicapped. Now, Axis can create fresh code. EA can't do that. They can, but they have to deal with the old code first. They just can't take the new code and put it over the old code. They got to take the old code out to and then put their new code in. And that's why I think Madden is growing a lot slower, guys. But see, my vision, what Danny showed us today, is a lot broader on what it takes to program this game. And Madden is... No, I'm not... And, and, and no, get me wrong, guys. I'm not trying to say... Axis football is going to play better than Madden. That's, that's not possible because they don't have the engine. They don't have the money. They don't have the resources. Axis just doing the best they can with what they have. And that's why they reinvest their money that they make on the game back into the game so they can get better graphics. They can get better programmers. They can get a better engine. Okay? So that's what I wanted to say, guys. That's what the advantage that Axis football have and Madden has a disadvantage. I hope y'all understand what I was saying, guys. It's not that I'm saying Axis football is ever going to beat Madden, but you never know, guys. Axis football is going to grow pretty fast. Their resources are going to get better. You know, you got Cal Anderson, and I'm pretty sure he's dealing with a lot of gameplay issues right now. I guarantee you his main thing is having gameplay issues right now. Now, he, now he's in a cave. He's working hard in his cave, and eventually his game's going to come out. You got the Canadian Football League working on their game, guys. They have a long way to go as far as awareness, ratings. And then if you look at what Danny was doing today, can you imagine trying to create sliders to make those calculations, adjustments? Can you imagine? And we always talk about EA needs to uh, have more detailed sliders. Guys, I saw it today. And like I said, if you haven't seen that video, guys, go watch it. I'm going to put the link down below in the description. Go watch Danny Jugan. Yeah, Danny Jugan's video today. And uh, shout out to, uh, 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 shout out to Shutdown Safety, guys. Shout out to him, man, for letting Axis use his, uh, uh, his channel today to do that live stream. But guys, it was very enlightening today. It was very enlightening today on how difficult it is to program the game again i guess we've always assumed it's not easy but we i saw today i can speak for myself i saw today what it takes to program a football game can you imagine madden being on a a a, a, a big higher level that what they have to do is even more intricate when we talk about we want mouthpieces and we want uh jersey pulls and we want reach tackles can you imagine all the things they have to do guys and that's all I wanted to say, guys. That was my enlightenment. That was my insight. That was my reaction to Danny's video today. If you guys enjoyed the video, man, or have any questions, hit me down in the comment section. And I'm not trying to say I know what I'm talking about, guys, but that's my insight. I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a program. I'm not a dev. But I think that's the advantage that Axis have and the disadvantage that Madden have. All right, guys, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or just my insight. Maybe you guys have more insight that that can spark. Uh, once you see Danny's video, if you haven't already saw it, um, if you're new to the channel, guys, hit that subscribe button. You never know what's going to come out of Hollywood sports. So hit that subscribe button, join the team, become a star, and we can do this thing together. But guys, I do have a good feeling. We're going to have Madden 19. It's going to be a pretty good game. This is their second year on Fall Spike, and I think we're going to have a pretty good game. I hope the AI intelligence is a little bit better because it's a better engine. Maybe they can make some adjustments on it, get that a little bit more out of that old. Eventually, Madden's going to have all that old code out of there. So hopefully, uh, we can get us a good game. All right, guys. Hopefully, I will see you guys, all you guys, on my next video. Thanks for watching.